Hello and welcome to the SciShow Talk Show, the episode of SciShow where we talk about things with cool people. Today we have a very special guest who you may recognize the voice of. This is Henry Reich, the creator of Minute Physics. Indeed. I have uh, something that I need to show you. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wait on that. Okay. Because wait. Today, today I want to talk about pennies. Oh, Which wow. is why I'm wearing so my that's why you're wearing a CGP Grey shirt. T-shirt. And just by coincidence, I'm also wearing the exact same shirt. But I wanted to tell people about a little bit about you first. Sure. So you, what's your uh, background? What did, how did you get into making videos about physics? Um, it's a long story, and the short version is that I always was interested in making videos, but I also studied physics in school. And then I took some time after grad school and went to LA and managed to somehow get a job working with Freddie W. and Brandon and learned that YouTube was a thing <laughs> and, uh, and thought, well, maybe if I were making videos on YouTube, they would be about physics, and and I can't really do anything other than draw really crappy stick figures, so I draw stick figures. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is a beautiful creation. Thank you for creating it. What did you study in school? Uh, I studied math and physics in undergrad and theoretical physics. What was your, what, what did you? Uh... I studied general relativity. Give me, what is the title of your thesis? Um, I think it was, I don't remember. It was something to do with multimetric gravity. Um, <laughs> And yeah, that's what I wanted ex- to hear. Extensions of general relativity into no. multimetric gravity. Into multimetric gravity, yes. So, like, no one has any idea what that means, and I just want to leave it that way, for now. All right, we can do that. Because <laughs> we're going to talk about pennies. Because it's better to talk about pennies. Because we're both wearing CGP gray shirts. So, uh, this is a cup of pennies. Okay, I agree. You notice something interesting about the pennies? Yes, they all have little red dots on them. They all have little red dots on them. Now. In my pocket, if I can get it out. On both sides. On both sides, yeah, that's an important point. So pennies normally have two sides. Correct. A head side and a tail side. Mm-hmm. But these pennies have two sides. One is a fluorescent side. Okay. And one is a non-fluorescent side. Okay. So, for example, that one has a shiny fluorescent side. Yeah. And not. Oh, okay. And you can't tell them apart when I don't have the UV light on. That is true. So, it's like heads and tails, but you can't see which one is which. The idea here is that I don't have to blindfold you for the entire episode. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to pour a bunch of pennies on the table, right, like mm-hmm. that. And I want you to split those pennies into two piles, mm-hmm. and I want each pile to have the same number of pennies with the fluorescent side up. Okay. That's Go ahead. Is there a way to do this right? Well, so, okay, so the first, the, this is the first, we're okay. gonna do this two, two okay. times. Okay. The first time you do it is this way. Do you think it's possible? No. No. I mean, it's not gonna be exactly the same. I mean, it's possible that it w- could be exactly the same, but. Is there a piece of information do you think I could tell you that would allow you to, to, to do it? I mean, unless there's some kind of correlation between the fluorescent side and the visible things, but there isn't. No, there isn't, they're random, I, I promise. So, so you're gonna divide them into two groups and Unless you're super lucky, they, there won't be the same number of fluorescent sides and correct the ones there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blindfold you just for a second because I need to be able to count. I do get blindfolded. You do get blindfolded, but only for a pr- brief period of time. Um, no peeking out from below. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many there are total fluorescent ones. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There are a lot of fluorescent ones in here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, so twenty-one of these pennies are fluorescent. And just for good measure, in case you're counting my counting of pennies. I'm going to add a couple that aren't fluorescent just to screw you up. Ah, it was. So, 21 are fluorescent. Okay. Now the question is, you can take your blindfold off. Can you split them into two groups that each have the same number of... You can flip coins as well. You're allowed to flip them. Oh, God. <clears throat> I mean, by the way that you're asking the question, yes, there is a way. Mm-hmm. But to be clear, I have no idea what it is. All right. So there are 21, how many total coins are there, do you know? Um, it doesn't matter. If you count, oh. I'm going to add more so you don't know. So you don't, <laughs> the point is you don't know how many total coins there are. Okay. 
It's some number of coins, and 21 of them in this case happen to be fluorescent. And the question is, can you, by just moving them and flipping them, can you put them into two piles that are both the same number, number of fluorescent? Apparently coins? so. But yes. you're going to have to tell me how to do that. Okay. To find out how to do this, I have no idea, you can go click over to a second video, uh, which will have the answer. But first, try and figure it out on your own, because apparently there is a way. It's, it's actually beautifully simple. It's beautifully simple. Well, that makes me want to figure it out myself. Do you want to figure it out for yourself? In any case, <laughs> go click on that video. Uh, go watch that video and you will find out. But to stick around here if you want to continue watching, we'll talk about fluorescence and also have an animal guest from Jesse from Animal Wonders. Uh, yeah, so clear so, off the pennies. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about, oh no. Oh gosh. Pennies are going so everywhere. now you're going to explain to me. Let's talk about fluorescence, like okay. what's going on here. So black lights and uh, raves yeah. and. Black lights, raves. Educational experiences. Um, this is a UV flashlight. Yes, they use them at the airport to look at my ID. I don't understand that. Well, actually I do because I have a passport here if I can find it. Well, I also have my, my driver's, driver's license. license. But, but the passport's more interesting. The passport, when you oh, show it, it has light, little hairs. It has little fibers and the fibers are different on the, on the cover. Mm -hmm. They're glowing fibers. Um, and then here there's like little, little tiny ones. Yeah. And if you open it up um, to the pages, there's like this line along the outer edge of the paper. Mm -hmm. If you look carefully on it, right up here, what does that say? It says passport. Passport. So they have this like, security features. In case you were confused about what it was. You can uh -huh. look at it with a UV light and it will tell you that it is passport. There are other things as well that uh, UV light will, that fluorescence is used for. I oh. think there's a security feature in this $20 bill. Where is it? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a, a line, line there. over there. What's it say? There's 20. 20. The US also. government is incredibly original. <laughs> Just <laughs> 20. Passport. So creative. There you go. I have some other things as well. Um, it kind of hurts to look at. Don't, yeah, that's, you know the whole thing about like using sunglasses with the UV light? <laughs> <laughs> He's saving me. <laughs> um, uh, here's my visa card. You're covering you, up I'm your. I'm covering up my number, but there's a little oh, V. There's a V there. In the corner. Uh -huh. It lights up. Um, and. And it's also used, so I have, I guess I just, I'll show you the markers I used for this. So I have these markers, here's the, the two orange markers. If you move it back farther, it'll be more obvious. Oh, yeah, one yeah. is glowing a lot more than the other one. Mm -hmm. On, off, on, off. So. so, now the question is, what is fluorescence? What's going on? Um, are you, do you know what fluorescence is? Here, I do not. not. In people's eyes. <laughs> So, I do not. So fluorescence is a phenomenon that happens when you excite the electrons and the atoms in a material using some incident light, in this case it's UV light, and they go to a higher energy level and then they fall back down, mm -hmm. but they don't fall back down from that high energy level back because then you, they would just re-emit the UV light. They kind of, before they fall back down, they'll, what's called relax, where they kind of jiggle around and lose some energy due to thermal fluctuations and things. And so when they relax, finally relax back down um, to the ground state, they emit light that's of a lower frequency, which so, means it's visible instead of ultraviolet. Just to get this, uh, this all lined up, so atoms have electrons. Atoms have electrons. The electrons uh, in a ground state exist in sort of a, that's like their normal place. And yep. then when they get hit by photons, they might get excited. Yep, they might they get more energy. And then jump up to other energy levels. And then when they fall back down, they emit photons. They emit photons. Exactly. Is that how normal light works? Is, th is that like, like, like the colors of this table, the colors of well, your skin? Well, the colors skin, of this table that... is scattering off okay. of, of, of light coming in so and scattering So it's off. not emitting light. Yes, yeah, so it's not being absorbed and re-emitted. Okay. It's scattering. So when you shine this on you know, something that's fluorescent, there will be some scattering, and then there's also some absorption and re-emission. So the re-emission is where the fluorescence comes in. That's exactly. why it looks like it's glowing yeah. rather than it's just exactly. being lit up. And phosphorescence, which I have this um, oh. glow-in-the-dark water bottle, we might be able to see. It might be really hard, you might have to make it dark. Yeah. It's not gonna work. But a glow in the dark water bottle will glow for a long period of time after it's mm -hmm. in the light, which is different from fluorescence. And phosphorescence does that because in the relaxation period, when the, the electrons go to a stage which isn't emitting light, mm -hmm. they the state that they end up getting into is something that is much harder for the light to then escape to. It's, it ends up normally they end up going to some different spin state which for which like they have to like quantum tunnel back down or something something weird. Oh, so okay. It's complicated, but but the point is that it basically <clears throat> just takes longer. So right. with 
with fluorescence, it's happening on the scale of like nanoseconds. Right. It just it, it absorbs and then reemits. Whereas phosphorescence, it's over the scale of minutes or even hours. So that's that's fluorescence, and it, it it's used actually not just in security devices, but also uh, in raves. Also in raves, but also you know in like biomarkers. Right. Um, and right, right. You know, if you want to, you make something that's fluorescent and put it in your body, you can see where where, where it thing ended goes. Up. Yeah. I don't have anything in me right now. You don't. I have some on my hand, though, I think. <laughs> From, yep, oh, right I'm coloring. There. Yep. <laughs> Got some marker in my hand. So that is fluorescence. That is how fluorescence works. And now we're going to talk to an animal. Excellent. Generally, when Jesse comes in, it's either terrifying or adorable. I don't know what's in store for us. Jesse appears to have brought us a conure. I had a conure growing up, so I know this. Uh, this it was not this not species, a, not a though. parakeet? It's a parrot. So I like the other you use the word conure. A lot, okay. not a lot of people don't know what conure means, and it means small parrot with a long tail. It's the same as a parakeet. Okay, oh. or a budgerigar? No. no. So no. that's where the confusion oh, happens no. with budgerigar, and I can almost never pronounce that name. I call them budgies. Uh -huh. um, so budgies are not parakeets. Right. They are budgies. Oh, because they're, they're Australian parakeets, yes. North American. Okay. Yes. Oh. Um, or Americans. American. Yeah. Um, so, and not just American. They can be over in the old world, too. They're just different. Right. So, so conure means small parrot with a long tail, also known as a parakeet. We just get confused sometimes. So okay. we've made up another word. So conure. So this is a half moon conure, and there are a lot of species of different kinds of conures. Mm -hmm. um, and he's friendly, so if you want to have him step onto your finger. How are you doing? You can feed him some little treats. I like feeding treats. Oh, yes. <laughs> they have those, like, dry tongues. Yeah, it is dry. Some are black or gray, and some are tan. And it's like a little finger inside yeah, your mouth. Yeah, like a little scaly finger in your mouth. Mm -mm. Yep. <laughs> and yeah. you're not very efficient at the eating. They're you're, really messy. They're supposed to be messy, though. Well, I mean, he's getting maybe like 25% of the food inside of him. Well, that's all. If he was super, super hungry, he, he wouldn't waste as much. Okay. But they're kind of made to be messy because. Anything hey, that they no. drop, yeah. He's like, can I have <laughs> more, <mouthful>. please? <laughs> Anything that they drop is going to help the animals below them. And if they drop parts of, you know, they, if they grab a big chunk of millet or something mm -hmm. like that, and, drop and a they're, bunch of seed. Even, yeah, they're dropping whole seeds. They're, they're distributing. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. And otherwise, all the little decomposers are going to eat. <laughs> See how he keeps his head? Yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about. UV light. UV light, exactly. So birds, parrots, citizens can see UV light. So they can see stuff that we can't see. Um, but if we shine the UV light on, on um, the, is um, it a him or a her? It's a him. It's, it's a him. him. Where are you going? Where are you going? It's right okay. We, I don't think, so if we shine the UV light on, we don't really. We don't see anything, see but anything. the birds very well might because they see in wavelengths that we don't see in. Right. So it's not fluorescent. Right. But it is reflecting. reflecting UV light. Yeah. And the bird can probably see that. So, yeah, they, they have very colorful patterns. Some of them do. Um, and we can see their colorful patterns in what we can see. Mm -hmm. But then they may have patterns on there that we can't perceive. And um, maybe some of that's going to be the, size, the sexual dimorphism in mm -hmm. them. Because a lot of times, birds look identical to us. Um, Males and females. Yeah. Um, but they they can tell each other apart by just looking at each other sometimes. So where did Lulu come from? Lulu was born at Animal Wonders, uh, one of the only animals born at Animal Wonders. Oh, wow. Yeah. We raised, raised a fledgling. Yeah. He had a little <laughs> spiky hairdo when he was baby, and that was really interesting. It was, um, Do you, you have know, baby pictures? We have baby pictures. Is he, is <laughs> we he need to get some baby pictures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is he the offspring of another <clears throat> bird you had there? Yes, okay. yeah. We had uh, a pair of birds, and yeah, they had babies. So they laid a little clutch of eggs, and it was really interesting to see how that whole process worked and how they grew, and um, it's just really interesting. What do I got? What do I, got? I know you have a seat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> <laughs> so Lulu knows a couple things. He doesn't really like to say them in public. He's a little shy. He says, what you doing? And it sounds just like me. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> and he says, mmm, and thank you. My Kanye, uh, every morning my mom would say, Hank, get up! And then my Kanye would say, Hank, get up! Uh, I go, this is perfect. I'm so glad that I take care of you and treat you nice so that you can... Nag you. Yep. And Which one loud... was more inspiring? Oh, the bird was much louder because it was there in the room and also much louder. Conures, they pack a huge punch. They Be careful so if loud. you're interested in purchasing a conure because they, they will... 
They will prevent the sleep. <laughs> They are. They're really, really loud. <laughs> These guys are rehomed so often because people get them because they're pretty colors. You know, the Sun Conyers, mm -hmm. one of the prettiest ones, and they just, people have them for a little while, and they just can't stand how loud they are. And uh, they're messy, like you experienced yep. Yep. as well. So they're messy and loud, and um, it's like having a two-year-old child for 30 years. But Lulu is being very polite. He is. He is, until he gets excited. You know, yeah. you know he's, he definitely screams and mm -hmm. chatters and warbles and... Um, yeah. yeah, he can be But yeah, 30, 30 years. Birds live an amazingly long time for they small do. animals. Yeah. Small little guy, and the bigger they get, the older they live. Mm -hmm. and Thanks for coming on the show, Lulu. Jesse from Animal Wonders, thank you, as always, for, for coming in. Um, uh, is there a YouTube channel or a website we should be talking about? Oh, yeah, we have a YouTube channel. Um, you can see more amazing animals and learn some interesting stuff. We'll put a link to it. Okay. Okay. Yay. And Henry, of course, uh, people already know about Minifizics, but it's youtube.com slash Minifizics. Thanks for coming in. It's been a lot of fun. And thank you for watching this episode of SciShow Talk Show. Uh, we'll be back next time where we have more special guests. If you want to keep getting smarter with us here at SciShow, you can go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe. Mm -hmm.